Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, we're in a world that is from the Steam Workshop. It's called the Average Cargo Freighter. It's designed by A1 Tero. Now, this is not any average cargo freight, so I'm going to show you it right here. This is something that's really cool, and every time I run across a really cool ship on the workshop, I just have to show it off. They're just so amazing, some of these designs. Now, the idea of this is to transport a number of different cargo modules. Three of them are there, and the fourth one is over there. Now, we'll have a look around the ship first. Now, the amount of detail that's gone into this with modifications is absolutely outstanding. You can see you've just added little pipes, just final little details like that, that really hit off the outer design. He's got mesh grids across from the lights, over the thrusters, it's just really shaped it up as well with the use of the sort of, I think they call letter blocks, but it just looks so stunning. It's just so amazing, especially with these ridge sort of sections. He's built out the armored doors, and he's just created a really beautiful looking ship. Now, I've translated this from the language that it was in. It was in Russian to originally go with. So we're going to go inside here, and I'll have a look at some of the control panels and different bits that are on display in here. So you've got light management, you've got different things here. So you've got light management with the blue tab. It's all color-coded, so you know exactly what you're doing here. So you've got the light cargo module that's linked here. So you can see how he's done this, like, one dot for the first button, two dots is the mill. Highlighting, down, uh, highlighting download is the three dot button so it's very very simple and he's also added the every now and then these little button tabs on the blocks to get even more detail out of the ship so let's actually have a look at the seat first so the first thing we're going to do is power it up so to power it up we're going to go to the second tab and we're going to activate it so you can see all the ship's hood systems have come online and the second thing we're going to do is rotate the secondary hoods into position so we can actually see what's going on so these are very very detailed so we can see we've got a system activated, we've got a lot of different settings and some outputs. We've also got a number of different commands, welcome to the ship and so on. There's a little bit of overlay between the two texts, the Russian and the translation that I put on over the top, but it doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. It's got the ship weight, does loads of little details, and especially with some of the advanced scripting blocks that they've got these days, this could be a fully animated hood. Just really beautiful. You've got some basic details down at the bottom as well. So let's go around and have a look at some of the rest of the features. So we've got the little airlock on top. Now, originally I thought this was actually an access area that you could walk through in the middle, but this is just an area where things are stored from what I can tell. Now, going to around the back, we have a little fold-down ladder segment. So if I press this button like so, hold on, let me make sure it's the right one. I should just read the instructions. Right, so ladder is button one. Number two is lock, so unlock the ladder. And then button three is unlock the ladder. There we go. So that should actually lower it down. And you see he's done a little detailed ladder that lowers down. You can climb up onto it. Very sort of role play. Very cool and simulating. So let's actually rotate that ladder back up. And then we're going to lock it in place with button two. There we go. So that should lock it up there at the top. Now we've also got buttons for secondary. So this is more of the docking one. And this is one of the ones I haven't translated. But the basics is it extends these secondary landing gears rather than these first ones here. And then they extend around the cargo container. Just working really smoothly to pick up that crate. We'll pick up one shortly. But let's actually have a look at some of the modules. So here we've got some really basic looking transport modules. I'm not sure what these are. I've not had time to translate them, but they work very simply. You've got lights, and you've also got some basic functions. So I guess they're like a, maybe a backup sort of fuel pod or storage area. And then you've got a sort of Jurassic Park-like cage for transporting your vehicles between areas, perhaps. So you can actually carry that up. You can see the details in the pipe on top, and you've got the connectors up there as well. So let's actually have a look at the modules. There's three modules that have come with this ship. Three of them are very cool. So we've got the medical module, we have a troop trans module, and we have a repair module. So I'll show you first the medical module right here so we'll open this up so we're going to take the lock off we're going to lower the door down unless Aaron's done it the opposite way around yes I put the lock on and then we can lower the door down like so so we've got the medical module we can step on inside here and this one is obviously for the wounded troops or whatever you're bringing back and people are not very well you've got some basic bed functions you've got some red lights and you've got some pipes and containers you've got this lovely little gravity room as well that's based in the center there you've got some final more beds and you've also got this little cockpit here that works as a way of using this as a separate sort of drop ship. So once you've dropped it off, this could maybe like provide a little bit of support around the planet and go to different locations and actually dock itself. So it's really cool to actually have a look at. So we'll drop back out there and we'll seal that door back up. Very simple sort of design and it's got a lock on top. So you can see how we've locked that in top. 
so the next module we're going to actually have a look at is the troop transport module. Now, they're based on the same shape, so they all fit into the actual ship, but this one has got four ramps on both sides, and inside it has a hell of a load of seats. So let's actually open up the access doors. So we're going to hold that button down, and then I believe we press them too. So I've just got to make sure I'm doing it right. So we press them too, and there we go. We release the lock, and we can actually lower the two gates down so troops could come storming out of here into whatever asteroid planet or maybe just even a little station. And you've got all these seats set up here. Maybe you've got the officer's chair here who's going like red light, green light, and then everyone just jumps out the side. That'd be really cool. You've also got control for the doors in here, like so. I'll leave that down for the moment. Gravity drive and everything in the center there so people stay on the feet. And you've got the little command center here at the front. Now, I've not translated this, but this is another way of helping you actually to dock with the ship above you can see we've got them docking pads and we've got the connectors so you can transfer supplies between the main ship and this maybe power and other sort of unnecessary or necessary supplies that you need to get down to the crew so the final module i'm going to show you is one that is quite this is just a quite genius really fun one this is something i can imagine dropping down on a station or maybe a friend needs help repairing it's a repair module so this has just got supplies and different things that we can use to help repair different stations so maybe a friend's in trouble you send this guy over and he can actually help you repair so let's unlock that lock them two down and we'll load the door so there we go the doors come down and we're actually inside now the repair module so we've got some shelves maybe they might fall off a little bit with the gravity on in here but we've got some storage for different things we've got some micro assemblers just everything that you really need if you're going to go and do a large repair project but i like how he's made it a little bit unorganized in here so it feels a lot more like a cargo sort of ship rather than everything's perfectly piped up and symmetrical and you've got the little arrows here and you've got the little window with the vents just look at the details on that you've got both the window and the vent on the other side for added protection anyway let's try docking with one of these modules i don't know which one we'll pick up should we try picking up this one this one looks like the coolest with the flashing lights on so we'll seal up the door we'll go and grab the ship and then off we go very good indeed now we just need to make sure the rear of the ship is also in connection and then what we'll do is move to the lower module so now once that's in connection we need to move to the lower module that is down here we need to open this guy back up so if we just quickly press them to and release the door down like so and we move into this module here now this is what we need to do we need to disable the landing gears and we need to use the connectors so the first thing we need to connect up is a number five so they're now locked in place with them brackets on the side we can see it's a little bit not perfect so let's actually try to make that perfect let's unlock okay and we're going to disengage the landing gears so i think it's a seven or is it an eight there we go and we're just going to bring this on our own little bit of height upwards and flatten that off with a little bit further forward and now we should be ready to lock so let's lock that up with a six so that's ready five six that's all locked in place we've got the module locked down and we should be able to take off with this ship now so move it back down and out disengage at this area so we need to raise the ramp back up let me just make sure everyone gets the right button and then lock it into place now this area here extends the outer landing gear so let's actually extend them down because we're going to need them to take off or literally level the ship off there we go we've got the module now underneath and we can actually take this ship out for a spin with the module underneath now like a lot of the modules when you add them to your sort of troop transport designs i've noticed there normally a lot of problems with sort of movement and stuff but this ship doesn't have many of them movement issues so there we go we'll track the outer landing gear and we'll actually take this up and we'll take this up very sort of gently so you can see with the weight underneath it usually pulls the ship down and the pulling of the actual ship down is very little so it means you can navigate and move with this thing really easily you see we've got the warning lights as we turn we've got some different sort of thrusters as well wow that's really cool we should try dropping this pod off maybe back at the platform see how fast we can deploy it or maybe even deploy it to the asteroid down there yeah let's try that so we're going to take this down here, add a little bit of speed. Hopefully we've locked all the doors in place. So if we're arriving at an asteroid or something that needs repairing at this moment in time. We've also got some weaponry on these sort of skids of ours. I think we've got a sort of a, an automatic cannon and we also have like a rapid fire machine gun. So let's bring that into a landing position. Switch back to the other option. Press number four, lower our outer gears. and See if we can actually bring this down for a landing position on this asteroid. So we just need to get into a position where we can get back into that pod below. So that should be perfect. Hop out of here. Go out through the shaft. Seal that door back up. Too bad you can't have oxygen in these small ships. That'd be really cool. I really like it when the small ships go large. And move back down here. 
and open up the door so we need to unlock and there we go now we can get inside and we can actually disengage this module manually so the module's going to be disengaged we need to unlock our gears up at the top so that's unlocked we can push down a little bit with the thrusters and then we can attempt to lock back up with the other button so unlock and seven to lock to the actual base now we should be able to take off with the ship above let's see if we've done everything right should be perfect and we'll be able to get out of here straight away unlock that back into the chair and we'll bring that up landing gears off and there we go we've just dropped off our supply module just a really cool modification this guys i thought i'd show you it i'm gonna leave a link to it in the description below make sure you check it out and i will see you next time